Hi everyone, my name is Miss Isabella. I am from A Time for Kids, and this is our full STEAM Ahead program. We're going to be practicing science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And we're going to be practicing our critical thinking skills as we learn how to plan, to observe, make predictions and observations for our science experiments. We are also going to be practicing our language development through our literature, and we're going to get to play with our science experiment after where we'll, we will practice our visual processing skills and our gross motor skills as well. So we're going to start off with a hello song. We're going to wave our hands. We're going to say hello. And our science experiment today is blowing up a heart balloon. So what you guys need is a balloon, a marker if you want to draw a heart on your balloon with me. So we're going to be blowing up a heart today, a empty plastic water bottle, some white vinegar, and some baking soda. And I'll also show you guys how to make a funnel out of a piece of paper. So if you guys don't have a funnel, I'll show you how to make one today. And we are also going to be reading two stories today. So the stories we'll be reading is called I Like Myself and is called Share. And in the spirit of blowing up a heart balloon today, I figured one of the important things to talk about is love, whether it's self-love, love for our friends, love for our families. So we're gonna be reading these two stories today. And something important to also talk about in these full steam ahead programs is the importance of literature. So we are practicing that language development through our stories that we read, whether it's through rhyme, through repetition, as we point to the words in the story, we're actually connecting that written word with the spoken word to our children. And that's gonna create a sense of a word box in their brain where they're gonna learn to start to pull those words out that we say to them over and over and over and constantly. They're gonna recognize them in the books that we read and they'll begin to read those stories as well. And something just to think about, if you read to your to your children even 15, 20 minutes a day, then they'll get over 500 reading hours before the time they get to kindergarten. So it's always important to incorporate in literature into these programs. So we have these two fun stories today that we're gonna get to read. So we're gonna start off first with that hello song. So let's warm up those hands, let's take them and let's wave them like this. You guys wave, wave, wave. And let's take those hands and let's wave them up high towards the sky. And let's wave them down low. And let's wave them as fast as we can go. And freeze. Let's find our head. Let's find our eyes. Let's find our nose. Let's find our mouth, our chin. And let's find our ears. All right, let's take our ears and let's turn them on. Let's get ready for that hello song where we will wave our hands like this. And you guys can sing right along with me. Here we go. Wave those hands. Alright, you guys got this. It's time to Let's say wave. Hello. Wave, wave, wave. You guys can wave to your grown ups, your siblings. Wave to me. Hello, nice, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you. All right, keep going, guys. Let's keep waving those hands. Here we go. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. All right, get ready. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you. Let's point to ourselves. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. All right, boys and girls, let's use our whisper voices. Be as quiet as we can be. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Good job, guys. Ready? Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you. I'll point to yourself. Hello to me, hello, nice to see you, everyone. All right, now we'll get a little bit louder. Here we go, let's raise our voice higher. I'd like to wave those hands. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Last time. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello. All right, we did it, guys. Good job, everybody. Thank you for singing along with me. We're going to get right into that first story now. So this one is called I Like Myself. I'm going to pull up a chair and you guys can come on and get ready for story time. So this is going to bring us into our science experiment of blowing up that heart. 
thoughts, one of the things I wanted to talk about is that you should like yourself, right? And you should feel confident in these science experiments that you do. You should be, feel confident in who you are and everything that you do. And even if these science experiments are difficult for you, if they don't work out the first time, you try, you try again, and you can do it, right? So it starts off and it says, I like myself. I'm glad I am me. There she is. There's no one else that I would rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, and my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Can you guys find your eyes? Can you find your ears? Can you find your nose? I know we usually find body parts in the beginning of class too, right? That's something important when you get ready for kindergarten. They're gonna ask them those questions to find their ears, their nose, even tricky ones like their wrists, their knuckles. It's always important to find those. And she says that she likes all those things about her and we should like them too. I like me wild and I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast and I like me slow. So we have opposites here. I like me everywhere I go. There she is. She's going on an adventure. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. And guys, on the inside, that's where our heart is, right? Can you guys find your heartbeat? We're gonna be blowing up a heart balloon today and it's important that you also like what's on the inside because that's what makes you you. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all, it's all me. And me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or a crazy cuckoo bird, so what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Right? It doesn't matter what people say. You should like yourself and that's all that matters. Even when I look a mess, I still don't care. I don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, right? What's deep inside our heart and who we are as a person, it matters what's on the inside. That looks like me when I wake up in the morning. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that way they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Look at that. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Look at her lips, I think those are pretty cool. Does any of you guys have polka dot lips? Let's see, find your lips. Show them to your grown-ups. Or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns producing from my nose. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like me because I'm me. Right? It's all about what's on the inside. And that's what matters. And that's my story. That's called I Like Myself. Thank you guys for listening. Give yourself a round of applause for being great listeners. And I want you guys to look in the mirror and say that you like yourself every single morning. I think that's very important to do. Grown-ups, you guys too. So we are going to start our science experiment now. So I'm going to get out those materials and we are going to blow up a heart balloon. All right. All right, I'm gonna bring my table over. I'm gonna get my water bottle, we'll put it down. You guys can take the cap off because we don't need it. And we're gonna to start to prepare for the science experiment. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my balloon out and I'm gonna draw a heart on my balloon with a Sharpie marker. So you guys can go ahead, draw your heart on. I already drew mine on because I wanted to give it a few minutes to dry. So if you guys wanna draw your heart, then lay it to the side, give it a few minutes to dry, just so that when we fill up our balloon with our baking soda, none of the Sharpie marker gets on you. So I had mine sitting out for a little bit now, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And now I'm going to take my measuring cup and I'm gonna measure a half a cup of vinegar. So grown ups, so you guys can talk to them about the measurements, show them how we're measuring this, 
have them help you. So I have a half a cup of vinegar right here. And then I'm going to get my funnel. And if you guys don't have a funnel, you guys can make one and I'll show you how. So what you guys need is just get a piece of paper and we are going to take that piece of paper. That's one we used for a different craft. And we are going to fold it and make a triangle. So we're gonna take it, we'll fold it like this, make a triangle, flatten it out. And you guys will notice we have a flap right here. You guys will take that flap, wrap it over one more time. Just like this. Oops. And then if you turn it around, we have one more little flap right there and just wrap that piece like this. Then we're going to tape this. So I'll get my tape. Put some tape right on there. So put it around that flap to hold it together. And then we are going to take a scissor and we are going to cut the bottom off. So we want a point at the bottom like this. So you guys have to fold the flap over just a little bit more to get the point, you guys can do that. So we'll get the point at the bottom and then we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut just a little hole at the bottom like this. This way our funnel opens up and we have a hole right there at the bottom so that our baking soda can go through it. All right. So I'm going to now measure out my baking soda. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a teaspoon of baking soda. So I have my teaspoon ready. And now we're gonna take our balloon. Again, make sure that heart is all dried on there or just try not to touch it so that we don't get that Sharpie marker on us. We're gonna take our funnel and we're gonna put it right in the balloon like this. Right, so now all the baking soda that I pour into my funnel will go right into my balloon. So grown-ups, you guys can help them. Someone can hold right here, hold the funnel up, someone can pour it. Just make sure you open up your balloon a little bit. And now I'm gonna pour the baking soda right into my funnel. All right, and just make sure that all of the baking soda goes right into it. So just move it around a little bit. Make sure that all the baking soda is going to the bottom of the balloon. All right, you guys can shake it a little bit. Look inside your funnel. Make sure that it's all gone. All right, and now I have all the baking soda in the bottom of my balloon. So now I'm going to put this down again. I'm going to take my white vinegar and I'm going to pour it inside my water bottle. All right, now we're going to take our balloon and we're gonna wrap it around the top of our water bottle, but this is where we have to be really careful. So as soon as my baking soda touches the white vinegar, our chemical reaction is going to take place. So we have to be very careful that we don't let any of the baking soda get to the white vinegar yet, okay? So we're gonna take the balloon, we'll open it up, and we'll wrap it around the top of the water bottle. Make sure you don't hold the balloon up because then all the baking soda will fall right in. So we'll just put it to the side like this. And this is when we're gonna stop and we're gonna make some predictions about what we think might happen. So what do you guys think? When my baking soda touches my white vinegar, what do you guys think will happen? Well, let's take a look. Here we go. Make sure you get all of the white vinegar connecting to the baking soda. Guys, what happened? Let's see. And there's my heart. My heart is stretching out, getting even bigger and bigger and bigger. It started off really small, now it's really big. And none of our hearts will look the same. They'll all look different, right? Just like us, we're all different. There it is. And you can see it's still blowing up. And if you be really quiet and you listen, you can hear the chemical reaction taking place. You hear the fizzing, right? So now we have to ask ourselves why this is happening. And what's happening is when that baking soda is mixing with our white vinegar, we're producing a gas. And that gas is called carbon dioxide. And that's also what we breathe out. So if we take a balloon and we blow into a balloon, we can blow it up, right? We're breathing out carbon dioxide. And what's happening here is it's creating that carbon dioxide and it's blowing up our balloon without us having to do it for ourselves. So you guys can see it's still getting bigger and bigger. So you guys can leave it on there until you hear 
the chemical reaction slowing down, the bubbles will stop, you won't hear it anymore, and then we'll take our balloon off and we're gonna tie it and then we're gonna play some games with it as well, okay? All right, so there it is. So you guys see the carbon dioxide is being released right into my balloon since it has nowhere else to go, it's blowing up my balloon. Right, and there's the heart. All right, so boys and girls, now that I hear it slowing down, it's not fizzing as much, I'm going to take my balloon off my water bottle like this and I'm going to tie it so I'm gonna take my two fingers wrap them around pull it through again grown-ups you guys can help them and there it is this is my balloon right so it's still blown up and you guys will see if you keep it it'll actually stay for a few days so there's my balloon. I'm gonna put it to the side for now because we are going to play a game with it. But before we do that, we're gonna read my other story. So I'll keep this here for now. We'll put it to the side and we'll read our story. All right guys, my next story is called Share. And this is another important topic. So we talked about self-love, loving ourselves, right? Respecting ourselves, but it's also important to share love and respect our friends and our family. So we're gonna read a story about our friend right here who's learning how to share. And I know this is something that we could all struggle with. Even in these science experiments, if we're doing them with a sibling, sometimes it's hard to share, right? Let's say somebody had a balloon that blew up bigger than the other balloon, we wanna share our sibling's balloon. Right, you guys can learn to share. It's something important to talk about in our science experiments. So it starts off and it says, this morning I got up ready to play. Mom said your cousin is coming today. He's only little, so show him you care. Please remember, it's important to share. Have your parents ever told you that, guys, that it's important to share? Yeah, right? As soon as he came, he wanted my bear. Mom said, remember, please let him share. He poked and he pulled him, poor little Ted. So I went to play with my dolls instead. But he was behind me, he followed me there. Mom said, he wants to play, please let him share. He jumped and he bumped and bounced on my bed. I gave up doing that and I played dress up instead. He followed me, wanting to see what I'd wear. Mom said, he's having fun, please let him share. He grasped and he grabbed, my beads fell and spread. I gave up doing that and I read my book instead. Then there in a flash, I chose Princess Claire. Mom said, he wants to see. Please let him share. He jolted and jiggled around as I read. I gave up doing that and I watched TV instead. Guys, did he have to give up doing all those things? No, right? Could he have just shared? Yeah. If we were doing our science experiment and somebody wanted to share with us, would we say, nope, we're not gonna do the science experiment anymore. We're gonna play dress up instead. Or would we share? We would share, right? He followed me in and he started to stare. Mom said he likes it, please let him share. He bobbled and blocked my view with his head. I gave up doing that and I started painting instead. He followed me again and he climbed on my chair. Mom said he's copying, please let him share. He scribbled and scrawled my picture I said. I gave up doing that and I had lunch instead. He ran into the kitchen and reached for my pear. Mom said, he's hungry, please let him share. He grabbed at my plate and it fell to the floor. I huffed and I puffed and I walked out the door. Guys, what happened to this plate? Do you guys think if he would have just shared, then this wouldn't have happened? I think so, right? Look, he was holding his pear up high and he was reaching for it and it looks like the plate got knocked over, but he could have just shared. I asked when he's going because I had enough. Mom said, try to be patient. I know that it's tough. All that he wants is to be just like you. 
That's why he copies whatever you do. Aw, oh, guys, look, he looks up to him, right? When my aunt arrived, she saw my despair. Just wait, she said. Now it's his turn to share. Sharing works both ways, right? He hugged and squeezed me. Thank you, he said. Then he was gone. And I sort of missed him instead. Aw, guys, has that ever happened to you before? Well, I think we learned a valuable lesson here, right? We should all learn to share because it's important, right? It's important to be kind to others. And we learned that today in my other story. We learned that as we blew up our heart balloon. And we're gonna get to take out our heart balloon and now play a game. And this game will involve sharing. So if you guys have a sibling, a grown up, we can play this game together with them, okay? All right, so we're gonna grab my balloon out. We can also play this with ourselves as well, but it is important to practice sharing with each other. So I'm gonna grab my balloon. All right, guys, and we're going to practice throwing it up in the air and catching it, okay? So one of the things that we're working on right now is our gross motor skills, those bigger muscles in our bodies as we're learning to throw and to catch and use those bigger muscles in our bodies. And you guys will notice that my balloon it doesn't float, right? It's not gonna float because it has carbon dioxide in it and that's not gonna allow it to float. So we are going to take my balloon. If it had helium in it, it would be floating. But we're gonna take my balloon, we're gonna throw it up and what's gonna happen is it's gonna come back down. So this is also practicing our visual processing skills as we're constantly scanning, visualizing, processing where my balloon is as I throw it up and where it is as it falls down. And our visual processing skills helps us when we read, when we write, it helps us as we learn to write in between the lines. Also, when we're taking notes at school, when we're looking up at the whiteboard and looking back down at our notes, when we're reading so that we don't lose our spot in the text. So it's always important to practice those visual processing activities, and this is a good way to do it. So ready on the count of three, let's take our balloon, let's throw it up in the air, and let's watch it fall down, okay? As we watch it fall down, I just want to watch it. We're not going to catch it yet, okay? One, two, three. Ready? Throw it up in the air and watch it fall down. All right, now one of the things that I hope you guys recognize was the timing of that. Did it fall down fast or did it fall down really slow? It fell down fast, right? So now that we visualized that, we processed it, we are going to try to catch it, okay? So here we go. We're also working our timing, right? So we're going to practice throwing it up, and now that we know the timing of it, we're gonna practice catching it. So on the count of three, one, two, three, throw it up in the air and catch it. All right, very good guys. If we have a grown up in the room or a sibling in the room, we're gonna practice throwing our balloon to them and they can practice catching it now, okay? So let's take it on the count of three. I'll throw it to myself and we will throw it to our friend or sibling or grown up and then they will catch it, okay? Ready, one. Two, three, here we go, ready, throw it to your friend and catch it. How many of you guys got it? Did you get it? Even if it fell to the ground, that's okay. You guys can keep trying and trying this again, right? All right, I have another challenge for you guys. We are gonna throw it up in the air and then we are gonna bop it with our hands like this. And if our sibling or grown up is standing by, they can try to catch it if they want, okay? Here we go. Let's take it on the count of three and let's try to bop it back in the air. One, two, three, throw it, look for it and bop it. And there it goes. All right, so you guys can continue playing this, right? We can try another challenge where we throw it up, we clap our hands and we try to catch it. You guys can, I, you see I didn't even catch it that time. You guys can try to do two claps. You guys can do a spin. Let's see, I'll give you guys a challenging one. Let's try to throw this up in the air, do a spin and catch it. Ready guys, here we go. One, two, three, throw it up, do a spin and catch it. So you guys get it? I didn't even get it. So you guys can continue playing with that. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed the science experiment. We are gonna get to sing a song now and that is Skidamarink. So we can take out those musical instruments, our bells, our shakers, our drums, and we're gonna sing and dance to this last song. Here we go. All right, I uh, hear it guys. Get ready.
All right, there it is. Let's grab out those instruments. fun with you guys. Thank you for blowing up those balloons with me. So make sure you guys check out if we have more science videos coming. Make sure you guys go check them out and hopefully I'll see you guys again, okay? Bye everybody. Bye guys. Thank you.